everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one, we're going to be a look at the transforming floor. Alright, so as you can see, we have a nice looking house over here and whenever we go inside, we can see we have a nice little furnace, we have some chest, we have a crafting table, but as you can see, the floor, it's, it's not looking particularly exciting and... Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just go and press this button and as you can see, our floor is going to be transformed and we get a nice looking floor. Alright, so this is the redstone behind this thing and as you can see, it's a pretty large redstone contraption but it's fairly simple. So what we have over here are these pistons and what happens when we press this button, these pistons will retract the blocks and then these pistons will swap the blocks and they will extend once again. So I'm just gonna press this button and uh, as you can see the pistons retract, they get swapped and then they push the blocks once again. As you can see this happens throughout the whole thing and we are making that happen using these two T flip flops. So these are inverted so whenever this one is turned on this is going to be turned off. So when we press this button as you can see the other one will turn on and push the blocks and swap them and then these pistons will extend so as you can see we have just a, uh, one layer of this thing so when we press this button you can see this whole process happening and i'm just gonna do that once again so this is the whole simple thing and we just have to repeat it as much as you want and you can do this as big as you want you can go as long as you want just keep in mind that you will have to just refresh the redstone because its signal is going to be getting weaker Alright, so to build this thing, you will need all the items in my inventory. And uh, what you want to do is just choose your floor and then uh, dig down three blocks. So as you can see, this is going to be the floor level and we have dig down, dug down three blocks. So you want to start off from here and keep in mind that you, you just have, I'm just doing the tutorial for three blocks wide. So what you want to do is firstly place sticky pistons on all of these blocks just like that. And uh, now what I would suggest doing is breaking all of these, digging all of, all of those blocks and then add blocks just like this and add redstone torches on all of these just like that and then add redstone torches on the sides just like that so they will extend these two uh, lines of pistons and then we're just gonna go over here, place on blocks and dig all of these out and then add torches on all of those so all of these are now extended now what you want to do is go over here and just connect them up with uh, repeaters. So now what you want to do is connect these lines with a redstone line just like this. And you can do this wherever and however you want. Now what we're going to do is add the block swappers. So what you want to do is go place three blocks, temporary blocks just like this and then three blocks again so you have to place six temporary blocks and then place a block over here break all of these so this is where you're gonna start placing your pistons so I'm just gonna place one piston there and two more just like that so three pistons and there should be a space of three blocks just like that do this for both sides just like that and uh, we have ourselves the blocks and I would suggest adding all of your blocks uh, already just like this all right so now what you want to do is come over here and uh, add blocks right over there and then add blocks over here just like this and place repeaters on all of these and we're just gonna do the same thing again blocks and then repeaters just like this and then we're gonna do the same thing over here and uh, at the end place down repeaters and connect those with the redstone we're gonna do this on the both sides and uh, i'll be back all right so after you have done that what we're gonna do is come over here and connect these up so what we're gonna do is just go one block upwards just like this and place a block like that then go just like this and connect all of these up so we're just gonna connect this up with that and we're just gonna be adding blocks going just like this and uh, now you can just uh, just add your input going into this redstone dust or this block so from here what we're going to be doing is taking repeaters going just like this 
and uh, now we're gonna do the T flip flops so you have to place down droppers a, a dropper facing like this and then a dropper facing like that and then another dropper over here and a hopper facing downwards so this is the whole T flip flop and we're just gonna add a comparator over there and a, a redstone repeater and connect this up with that and make sure that this repeater can reach up to over here so all of those are going to be pushed and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so after we've done this on both sides what I'm gonna do is add a redstone dust just throw a redstone dust over here so this one is uh, supposed to be turned on and then add a uh, redstone dust to this dropper right over there and uh, when you've done that you just press this button and as you can see your block stopper is going to be functional and uh, now whenever you press this button as you can see the floor is going to be swapped and uh, the whole thing is done so now what you want to do is just run your input into this block or this redstone dust over here and uh, I'm just gonna say that you have to keep in mind that all of the redstone uh, uh, power should reach up to the last repeater over here if not if it doesn't do that you're just gonna have to place a repeater over here so uh, all of these blocks are tracked and yeah that was the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos I will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye